Ty Kenny Rota, WHBC Radio, over. Oh, okay, I got you. There we go, standing. <laughs> that last possession, was it anybody's going to beat us but Paul George when you blitzed him there? Yes, sir. Um, you know, in the timeout, just came back and said we're going to hit him, you know, and um, had JR on him, and LeBron was the hit guy, and um, just come up aggressive, make him get rid of it. So the team did a good job of following the game plan, got it out of his hands, and make someone else beat us. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Ty, in the previous meeting against Indy in April, you had LeBron on Paul George. You went with J.R. Smith today. What was the thinking with that switch? Um, because they tried to run LeBron around a lot um, our last game here and to save his legs and save his energy to be able to play offensively and to do the things he do. And uh, J.R. took the challenge and did a great job. You know, um, you know, I thought overall defensively we were pretty good just outside of the loose balls. They got scored the basketball, offensive rebounds, putbacks. You know, the 50-50 balls that we didn't get to, they scored on. So, you know, just clean those things up, and um, it had been a different game. You know, 11 turnovers for 19 points, and then missing 13 free throws wasn't good for us either. But we found a way to, you know, pull the game out, and, you know, we'll be better. David McMenamin, ESPN, you mentioned the free throws. I know it's a freaky thing. You go 14 for 27 as a, as a team. Do you even address it as it's going on? or what's I that? addressed it, you know, after the game just that, you know, we can play better, we will play better. And, you know, we missed 13 free throws, turned the ball over, they got 19 points in transition, and just clean up a few things. And, you know, the playoffs are about adjustments and um, what you can do better. But I just thought if we got to those 50-50 balls, the offensive rebounds, that it would be a totally different game. So um, hats off to them. They play well, but um, we'll be better. Coach Scott Sargent, WFNY, not that you want a game to end the way it did, as close as it did given the lead you had, but is it uplifting for the team given the question marks surrounding the defense that they did win the game with, with that huge defensive stop at the end? Yeah, I mean, we had a chance to you know kind of put the game away. I thought we had three three uh, layups around the basket that we just missed, point-blank layups, but then down the stretch to get that last stop, and then Kyrie came up with two, two big stops. He uh, did a great job of guarding Teague one-on-one, -on -one, and then he got the, the final strip at the end, I think, off of Miles Turner. So um, to win that game, we needed defense, and um, it was a good thing to see us get stops down the stretch. So was, any, it was any, oh, is it on? anybody but PG who said with that last stop, the p sequence before that on the inbound when Tristan was guarding Paul, was that by design, or did he get caught up in a switch there? No, we knew what he was going to run in the game, and um, we wanted Tristan to switch out and, and to, to deny it. And um, Tristan did a good job of doing that. So we went over those plays and what we wanted to do at the end of games. Uh, Greg Swartz, Bleacher Report. Uh, Coach, what went into your decision to not play him on Shumpert today? Well, you know, playoffs is just, you know, a game of everybody has to stay ready. And, um, you know, tonight, you know, it hurt me. I didn't get I didn't get Shump in there. But, you know, RJ came in early. He played well. when We got him in early for Kevin. And just kind of the floor of the game and the rotations, um, it didn't happen. But, you know, he has to stay ready, and everyone has to stay ready. And, um, you know, we'll just see what happens. Marla Ridenauer, Akron Beacon Journal. D the Darren Williams obviously came back in. Was that just a – Jam thumb or what in the ha what happened? Yeah, he jammed his thumb a little bit, but he came back and he was okay. Ty, coming into the series, you were talking about how concerned you were with C.J. Miles. Called him a Cavs killer. What'd you do tonight to take him out of the game? Well, I think we gave him some different looks. Um, at times, we switched out to take away his three-point shot. Um, we blitzed him on the catch on some of his three-point shots. And um, the three that he did get, that he did make, you know, we were supposed to switch. You know, R.J. and Braun screwed up the switch, and um, he got an open three. So, you know, take that away. I thought we did a pretty decent job. And I told you, you know, Paul George is going to score the basketball. We got to take those other guys out of the game. 